Hey all, Corey here, the Art Archaeologist, and welcome to this little quickie image transfer tutorial for mixed media. So we're going to go ahead and be doing image transfers like this on a canvas board today so that I can show you how it's done. With the image transferring, you need to use laser prints, and these are all from my Vintage Forest Eco Dye Kit, and I'll go ahead and link that below. And then what I've done here is, I've got this other one, this is from my Woodland Magic, and I just love this look because it's really pale and faded. These images came out better on this soft canvas here that's attached to this frame than they did on the hard canvas board. So this is an eight by 16 inch, just little canvas board master's touch from Hobby Lobby. And um, this image came out really, really well. And this one came out much more faded, but I still like this look. However, you know, you want a good, as crisp and clean of an image as you can get. So let's go ahead and delve into the image transfer itself and how to go about doing that. Now, this is another one. I was playing around with these. Let me get this out of the way to see how I could do at the image transfers. This one was a complete fail, and this one is really kind of faded. Now, I can go over the white of this and with um, a, a sealer of any kind of my choice, and it will make that white disappear if there's a small enough amount of it. But to me, this canvas is a complete fail at this point. So. What I want to do is show you how to, I'm just going to add a new image transfer right here and show you how to do it. And then you can easily, if this happens to you, have no fear because you can easily paint and texture over any fails that you may have. And you know, as we're working on these things, it's bound to happen to us, right? So let me grab my image and we'll go ahead and adhere it to this and then I'll show you how to um, get it into this state here. Okay, so I've got this beautiful little leaf here that I want to use, and this is the same page as this. This image is this here, and then this is from on this end, and I'm pretty sure this right here is this again, but I love this Woodland Magic, or uh, yes, Woodland Magic kit. I really find it to be a beautiful kit. So you want to go ahead and get rid of all those white borders and keep in mind that your tears are going to show up as you tear them, of course. Now I've been using this golden matte medium and um, it works really well. It's really, really sticky, very, very much like glue. And I've seen people use many, many things. I've got some Liquitex matte medium and it's much thinner than the Golden. And it makes for a great uh, glue for like tissue paper. I like to use it for that kind of stuff, but I don't know that it's strong enough. And I could be wrong. I just don't know that it's strong enough to do this. So what you want to do, I've got a little piece of wax paper separating. This is a trick that I've seen here on YouTube and I just couldn't tell you where, but it works great because this stuff is so strong and there it goes ripping as I say how great it works and it's not. <laughs> I was able to get the lid off though. That's the main point of this. You want to take your glue and do a really nice thick coat on your image. Get complete coverage. And then to really reassure that that's going to transfer effectively, set that aside for a minute. I'm just going to add some more to my canvas as well. Now I've always noticed with just about any kind of work like this, if you let this sit just 
for a couple minutes to set up it has a tendency to work better. Now this brush is an old glue brush of mine and I probably would have been better to use something a little smoother just to get smoother coverage here. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to grab this flat and kind of just smooth this out a tiny bit real quick here. Get rid of those real blatant brush stroke lines. I'm newer at image transfer. I've done some and I've done it a long time ago and it's just been a really long time so I'm getting back into it because I really love the look of it and I love the thinness of an image transfer layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of hit this one too. Oh, that really works well to smooth it out. So you don't wanna to use too scratchy or rough of a brush to do this part here. And now this has had a little bit of an opportunity to set up a tiny bit. So let's go ahead and flip this over. So this is step one of this. You want to just flip this over, put it where you like it. I love being able to save this canvas, even though this happened over here. I like being able to go ahead and save it. I grab my fondant spreader. These are great because it has a beveled edge. And I get these in the baking supply section. I really need a paper towel. Ah, be right back. Now this could be a little tricky. I don't want to push it so hard that I push all the product out from under this. I'm just going very lightly to try to just get some smooth adhere adhesion and consistent. I really want it consistently smooth all the way down the entire image. And you wanna guard against getting glue on the top side of this. So you can rub with your fingers. These are just a few bucks, by the way. It's a, I love this tool. I got two of them in a pack for like $3.50 or something like that. And um, I use it all the time. And I talk about it all the time. So now I'm just gonna kind of wipe the edges of this glue, this extra glue away here. And that'll be perfectly fine to paint over and do whatever you want. And then if you by accident did get a little glue on the top here, just take a dry part of your paper towel and give that a once over. Now, from what I've seen of people doing this, you don't want to push all the product out, but at the same time, some of it's going to come out if you're doing it correctly because you see there's, and you might not be able to see it, but there's a couple little bubbles here. You don't want bubbles for sure. So, you know, I'm kind of a rookie at this here. I'm going to go a little bit harder. And a lot of that product got pushed out, but I did have it really thick. And I'd love to say I was paying attention to how hard I did that one there. But uh, it's been a few weeks since I did these image transfers that I have done. And I really don't remember. So... I watched um, a video where the gal, and I can't remember the video, it's been a long time, but I did a lot of research on this quite a ways back, and she was saying, you know, it's really important to get in there and get good contact. Now, also, I'm doing this on a canvas board, and I'm hoping to get great results, but obviously that didn't give me a very good result. and. I'm really surprised that I got such good results off of this um, canvas that's not as stable as the canvas board, but these I think are really, really nice results here on that. So now that you've got this all ready to go, you wanna set it aside and let it dry completely. And this is one of those things 
that I will do a few of these and then put them all on a table and walk away for a few days. Now in the case of this one, it's been a few weeks. So what I've got here is I've got my little bottle of water. I'm going to go ahead and wash my brushes real quick because if I don't, they're going to be destroyed from this. And then we'll go ahead and remove this paper off of these so you can see that too. Okay, so I've got my little squirt bottle here and I've also got my little water jug. I just like to have both on hand. I work it on a piece of poster board because this is a very messy process. So what you want to do is get your image good and wet all the way through. You kind of want to just let that sit for a minute and soak in. Okay, so now this one, as you saw, I dried it a little bit and that made the remaining paper show up white. So that told me I had a little bit more work to do. Now you're never going to get this absolutely perfect. When you get it as close to the image as you can, you may have a couple little white spots. I'm going to let this dry and then just wipe that off so that it comes off easier. But then when you cover it with your matte medium or whatever you're going to use for a top coat sealer, it will make that white go away. But it's important that you make sure you get rid of as much white as possible without tearing into the image itself. You can see right here that it was starting to pull at the image. So you'll know very quickly if you're going too far. Very, it's it's a fun and easy technique, so I'm going to go ahead and zip through this one as well. Okay, so I've got these all dried out here and then you can just really get all that off so much easier than when it's wet. And you'll notice that there's definitely a white film on both of these. See that there? So you want to just very gently at this point wet it down again. Let them sit for a moment. See, there's the beautiful image all wet. And isn't that gorgeous? So in the end, we want it to look that great. Okay, now just one final very gentle rubbing. See, I'm, I'm getting that last little film. Now I'm also pulling some of the image up. So I got a little too heavy handed with it. You really want to start out gentle. And then just work your way up in strength. Okay, so I ended up with quite a bit more paper off of that little run there. So again, I'll just let this dry. And then I'll come back in and just scrape all that off dry. And all these images that I've shown in this little tutorial here are going to, these are all, the, I think I already said it, but they're all the upcoming videos. 
So definitely, if you have not subscribed yet, please do as I always invite you to. Okay, we'll let that dry and then that's really it other than going ahead and doing the matte medium on top. And since I've been talking about it, I will go ahead and do it on this little sample just so that you can see it all sealed in. Okay, so this is all dried now and this um, piece here is looking more clear than this one, but I'm afraid to mess with this anymore because I did start to pull up the image. So let's just go ahead and put some of this Liquitex matte medium on here. And I like to just pour it right on. Look at how beautifully that brings this image forward. Now I've already done that to these two. So you can see that this one looks pretty good. And this one is kind of faded. So I can also pick and choose what to keep later on when I'm working on this piece and what to cover up. So it's kind of fun to have a few images to play with on your canvas. That way if one doesn't work out as well as you wanted it to, you can you have options. It just kind of opens you up. Okay, that really made a nice difference. So the last thing I'll do today before I go is I will let this dry for a few minutes and come back and give you a sneak peek at it so that you can see how it looks all dry. This really pulled forward beautifully. Okay, so here this is all dry now and look at that beautiful image. So don't worry if your images are a little milky. You can fix that right up with a mat or a gloss, I'm sure. So here's this one here and this may get completely covered up. I really like this little section here, but make sure and again subscribe and hit the bell notification as always so that you can come back and we can transform this seemingly nothing piece of canvas board into a beautiful work of art. Have a great day.